everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go through my Resident Evil collection. I've got a lot of new things here that I've collected for the last couple of months uh, during lockdown and I wanted to show them in a little bit more detail. So stick around and enjoy and I hope you like the video. Alright, here's something I definitely picked up that's very new. This is a wonderful, wonderful insert coin uh, Resident Evil 2 themed, remake themed uh, jacket that they released. Uh, it's a little bit small for me, but that's alright. It was just, uh, they were sold out, so I picked up one on eBay. Uh, so that's a very cool Leon design here. Very nice, uh, with the uh, RPD on the back. And really nice uh, uh, police badges on there. Now on this is actually reversible. So if I just reverse this real quick. And show you the other side. It is actually a homage to Claire Redfield, which is very cool as well. So, let's just zip this up. Again, a very awesome jacket. And now it is a Claire Redfield red uh, with her, well, most common, I've known it from uh, Code Veronica. So the Maiden Heaven. Uh, insignia on the back and that's yeah that's really amazing so that's a really cool jacket that I picked up uh, recently so I just wanted to show that off a little bit wish it was in my size but that's all right so yeah we'll put that one back all right as always we might as well just start with the clothing in the closet so let's just see if there's anything different there isn't really this is all the storage of most of the resident evil items that i've got out on display at the moment um, so that's just their packaging uh, some extra posters that i just don't have room for anymore in this uh, room uh, and then some resident evil related bags which i sort of went into detail last time and mainly just a whole bunch of shirts uh, the new jacket that I've shown you and uh, yeah these are all just Resident Evil related items um, that might be a little dark to show you but uh, just to give you an example uh, most of these are very small uh, I was a lot thinner and I fit most of them but uh, you know life goes on and uh, yeah that's some really cool ones so that's just everything in the cupboard nothing too exciting so we'll just close that for now and move on to the main uh, room and collection. So let's just start with the figures up here. Uh, some new ones that I got were some new old stock. So Chris Redford here from Resident Evil 5. I've actually got him loose, but there was a store online selling him uh, new old stock. So that was really cool to get him. Uh, these two were semi new. I'm not too sure if they were in my last video, but two nice boxed Resident Evil 4 figures. Krauser there, that's a Dugo. Um, and then your original hot uh, biz toys, sorry, toy biz uh, collectors ones, which are very cool. Um, so that's not quite the whole set. Um, so I've got Ivy there, the Data Wong, which is yellowing a little bit, uh, the William G3, which is very cool, uh, Claire Redfield, Leon, and then just Hunk with a zombie. Um, so they've been there obviously since the originals. Uh, lab coat zombie again new old stock so he's now boxed uh, i do have him loose in the cabinet along with a slightly alternate zombie with the dog so that's another very nice one now definitely some of the newer ones that i've picked up are these palisades ones they're a lot harder to come by um, but they're amazing when i do find them and if the price is right i will pick them up so we've got a soldier zombie from code veronica moving up to claire herself sorry uh Nosferatu and Claire over here herself from Code Veronica. Nosferatu was a newer pickup. And then this one here, which is very cool. Uh, it's a Resident Evil 2 design. So it's a zombie cop and a liquor there with various uh, accessories and the stands that they come with. They come with lots of accessories, which I really like. And then over here, we've got uh, Resident Evil 1 inspired ones. So you've got the Tyrant, apologize about the glare, the Hunter and a Chimera. Redfield obviously in a Cerberus dog, a web spinner and Jill, and then uh, forest sprayer and a zombie. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and then a few more new old stocks here. So you've just got these were the uh, 10th anniversary ones. So going quite back, that was just a zombie and a dog. Uh, and then you've got a nice hunk one here with his uh, suitcase. 
So those are sealed and I've got them uh, loose in the uh, cabinet as well. Now these are the Moby Dick toys. They're uh, straight from Japan. They're much harder to come by as well. Uh, sadly, I only have four because these go for a lot. And I don't sort of go too crazy with buying them. It's just if they're within range and price range, I will pick them up. So just a liquor, a very alternate costume Leon there. Uh, Code Veronica style Chris. And an alternate costume uh, Claire Redfield there as well. So that's all the figures on the wall. So let's just move it down. Uh, some other new things we've got, while well, that's the same, I did get a lot of Resident Evil 3 promotional cutout signage. Uh, my local electronics EV games uh, was getting rid of a lot of their stuff and I said, hey, could I have those? And I uh, ended up getting three, which was really cool, but we'll focus on those figures in a little bit. Let's just focus on this shelf for now still. None of this has changed, it's just the hats again, and then the pop vinyls, they did a very select, specific range, uh, and they didn't do any more. They did a giant hunter, which didn't make sense, uh, but a giant tyrant, which did make sense, and then a small nemesis, again, which did not make sense. So that's weird. Uh, there's some iron-on patches here as well, which are very cool. Uh, a few of the board games that I ended up picking up, I haven't uh, bought any more of them yet. Um, and then a little, little plush nemesis, which is kind of cute. Uh, moving down from that, um, it is also my big box PC games and a few of the pop vinyls open, so that's cool as well. So big box Euro uh, Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3. And then down below that is all my printed media. So play guides, magazines, uh, comics, Japanese play guides and movie novelizations. And then of course the wonderful uh, books by SD Perry, which were very cool as well. So moving along from that, they were kind of in themes. These are all PlayStation 3 um, collector's editions. So there's an umbrella umbrella there as well. Uh, and then you've got the wonderful Biohazard remake, uh, the anniversary package there, the stars package, which is very cool. Uh, the Biohazard 5 uh, with the move support, which actually came with the camera and the move controller. And then the Biohazard 5, which had the USB vial. Uh, moving up from that, uh, it's kind of funny with COVID and everything. Uh, there is the face mask that came out with the Dark Side Chronicles as a pre-order bonus. Uh, I've got rid of all my doubles. Um, that's paid for a lot of new things that I've picked up. So now it's all just everything in correct order. So GameCube, Resident Evils, the Biohazard 0, Biohazard 2, 3, 4, and Code Veronica. And then your US versions. So two greatest hits ones at the start and then your normal ones with a few of these actually being sealed, which is very nice. And then moving into my uh, native PAL copies here as well. And then the lone Wii U release they did, which was Revelations, which was a really nice port on the Wii U, I thought. Uh, and then just some basic Wii versions, PAL, Wii American, and then Japanese as well with a few collector's edition Japanese ones they did. Uh, moving up from this, this is uh, PlayStation 2, essentially. Uh, so there's some pins here that were very cool that I'd picked up recently. Uh, the PlayStation games, they're all sort of the same. So again, you've just got my power collection of what I own. A few US releases and then the rest are Japanese releases. A nice American box set there. Uh, two limited edition coins that I got recently, which were very cool. Uh, these were very recent uh, eBay, pur eBay purchases. So a Resident Evil 2 one they did for the remake and a Resident Evil 3 one they did which was before that remake, so I don't think that was that was just a coincidence. The wonderful GameCube uh, GameStop Special Edition, that's very cool. And then a wonderful Power Saturn with the big long box, that's amazing, I love that original artwork. Uh, moving up to something a little more funny, they did these ducks. So they did a Chris Redfield and a Jill Valentine. I mean, they're pretty stupid, but they were Resident Evil, so I thought, all right, I will get them. So that was a fun little addition that I picked up recently. Moving on from that, I have the wonderful Hori did a PS2 memory card in a uh, ammo box. So that was a very cool one that they did uh, many, many years ago for the PS2. I also have the long box original PS1. And then on the Dreamcast, I've just got Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Code Veronica in their PAL formats. And then moving along here, you've got the American Code Veronica, uh, PS3, uh, these are promo ones, so review copies that, you know, get sent out to magazines and such, that's a cool thing to have. Uh, the Slim Box Resident Evil 1, 
Director's cut uh, in a greatest hits. I don't have a non-director's cut of that. Three, uh, that's not a double because one is a Opdono Crisis demo one and then just the normal uh, non-demo one. And then just our power director's cut, which I enjoy. One, two, three, and gun, uh, Survivor. And then there is also some Switch titles that they have released. They did a triple pack. That's the newest one they did. And then an Origins pack. And then a um, Revelations pack. And then just Japan did a Revelations standalone one, which was kind of cool as well. So moving on from that, uh, this is more import. Uh, so you've got Dreamcast from Japan here. Nice Code Veronica one. That is uh, in a very cool uh, slip case there, which is nice. And then some of the others which are still sealed. So Resident Evil 2 Value Edition, which is very cool. Three, and then that was the alternate Code Veronica, which had essentially what was on the PlayStation. It was the X version. Uh, and then these are the PlayStation 1 copies. So Resident Evil, uh, and then the Director's Cuts, and then two, and then the DualShock Edition, and then three, and so on. So that's cool. And then there's also a lone Sega Saturn version there as well. And another thing that was new is, well, these aren't new, but so I've got American Gaiden Loose, Japanese Gaiden Box Complete. And then this is a new pickup that I had. It is the Biohazard Zero Trial Edition for the GameCube. Now, when I was buying this, I didn't realize it was sealed because I was going to use it, but uh, that's sealed now. So that's not going to be opened, but that was very nice. And it was so cheap considering it was sealed. Either the seller didn't know or just didn't care. So that's really nice. And then also there is these Wii things that they did. So there's the light gun that came with the Dark Side Chronicles in that. And this one also came with the Dark Side Chronicles. And it's a silly sort of magnum with a knife. I've got that on display in my glass cabinet, which I will lead to and show you shortly. All right, moving on down, we have a lot more really cool pins. Um, so these are really nice ones that I've just picked up in stores over the years. Uh, moving on from that, a very small uh, 3DS and Nintendo DS collection. Powered Deadly Science, Japanese version, uh, the deluxe that came with the 3D stick for the original uh, 3DS. Xbox copies, but as you can see, I don't even have everything. I'm missing six. Uh, even though it's a terrible game, I, I don't have it. Um, I do have a promo copy of two, so that's not a double per se. And then a collector's. And then, yeah, moving along to the PlayStation, same sort of deal, so three. Two promo uh, collectors tin two, which is sealed. Uh, all my American ones are sealed, so that's kind of cool to have those as well. And then there is an Asian version and another Asian version there. So yeah, it's nice to just have them on the modern consoles as well. Even though I don't actually have a PS4 or an Xbox One anymore. Uh, moving down from that, uh, these are 360 sort of style ones. So there was a very cool pre-order uh, snow globe. So if you shake that up, it is, well, it's pretty much where they were with all the sand and everything. So that's kind of cool. Uh, that was a Japanese uh, collector's edition, which came with a USB chainsaw. And then that was the PAL one that came with a, um, a necklace and a small bag. So that was kind of cool. And these are all my Xbox 360 titles. Uh, some are sealed. Uh, others are just basic versions, collector's editions, tins. Japanese versions and whatnot, so that's another cool sort of bunch that I have there. Uh, moving down, it's a PS3 version, so that's a very nice Operation Raccoon City. So many people shit on that game, but I didn't mind it, like it's alright, so that's a lot of fun. Um, and then another Resident Evil 5 sealed with the USB chainsaw. This is the backing of a memory card holder. Uh, I just, I, I don't have the packaging anymore, but I do have that backing which I've kept. And these are PS3 games, which most of them are sealed as well, as you can see here. These are all nice and sealed. Japanese ones are not. And then you've got just PAL uh, versions of those as well. All right, moving over. If you bear with me, we've just got uh, so film media now for most of these. Uh, so these are the big box PAL, well, Australian Resident Evil movie. Uh, the small retail one, so that's the, uh, the rental version. That's the home bought one, and that's the American... VHS's are in cardboard cases and then that's the movie every version of various reason regions uh, worldwide a few tins there as well so that's really cool uh, I have the movie prop vials I mean they're not high-end ones but they're still very nice uh, they look really awesome these are all blu-rays and 4k 
So for example, this is very new. This just came out a little while ago and I, I really like the first one still. This looks incredible in 4K, so that's really nice to have. Um, and then a few others there. There is a box set that I'm trying to get, which I don't have at the moment. These are HD DVDs releases. Uh, they were German releases, so that's really cool as well. UMDs, if you remember them with the PSP. Um, and then this, which I will show, is the Resident Evil Apocalypse 35mm uh, film reel that was in the cinemas to show the trailer. So that's just the trailer of the movie. Um, in a little bit I will cut to me showing you that because that is really awesome as well. That was a wonderful eBay purchase probably about two years ago now. Alright, moving up from that we've got music. Uh, they've been doing vinyls now which I love buying. I have all the ones that I've been able to get at the moment. So we have zero on vinyl. These are just the black ones, they're not colour, but that's alright. Uh, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil X, and Resident Evil 4. Um, because that's not in order, it's because he's quite large. So that's, uh, he is a 4 disc version, that one. So I've just got him there. Uh, and then you've just got a CD version of these as well. Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 2, and Resident Evil 5. And then moving up from that, we have um, just a very small selection of PC games. Um, I don't really play these on PC, but obviously I just collect them. So nothing too new there. That's also some more soundtracks. These are the movie soundtracks, which are kind of cool. You know, not, not particularly great, but uh, that's really cool. Uh, my boxed American Resident Evil 2, which I love. I absolutely love this port. It is fantastic. My PAL version of the Resident Evil 2 port for the Nintendo 64. And my box complete Japanese Biohazard 2 version for the Nintendo 64. Also have a sealed copy for the Gamecom, which is very cool. A Resident Evil 2 Remake RPD mug. And some of the dice for the board games that I showed you earlier in the video. That's just really cool as well. So that's quite a nice expensive little corner just there. Alright, moving on from this, we shall move over to the cabinets. So, let's have a look. All right, wonderful. So we have uh, quite large figures up here. So I've had these for a while now. So you've got a wonderful deluxe liquor one here. And then you have a very large William Birkin one here with amazing detail in his uh, transformation um, status there. And then of course, uh, one of my favorite characters ever are the Nemesis. This is humongous, he's heavy, and he's just deluxe and fantastic. And he was worth every dollar spent on him. Uh, we also have the collector's edition boxes for Resident Evil 7, both the American edition, which was a lot nicer, and the Power edition, which was not as nice. Uh, it was very sort of, well, you'll see shortly. All right, panning down into the glass cabinets, the good old reliable IKEA cabinets, we have some of the collector's edition content. So that was the mock VHS tape that you would play within Resident Evil 7. This was the PAL house where it was just ceramic. Um, it wasn't very exciting. It didn't light up or anything like the American one. We have some dog tags. Uh, I have the new Resident Evil remake medallions which came out. These are very nice. So we have the, the maiden, the lion's head. If you remember, you get them in the game and the unicorn. These are beautiful. They're numbered, they're limited, they're quite heavy. And the quality of those is just fantastic. So we will move along from this at the moment. Uh, these are just some of my Hot Toys figures uh, in this top glass cabinet. So you've got Chris, Sheva, and Jill. Uh, the GameCube uh, Resident, Evil chains Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Loose. So this is one out and open that I show friends and have occasionally played just for fun. It also has a memory card holder there, which is very cool. All the Hot Toys accessories, they're very detailed. Ammo packs, health packs, guns. You can un unload them and everything, it's very cool. The light that's hitting her mask looks like it's glowing. Alright, moving on from that, these are solid resin ones again. Um, ceramic, sorry. So there's a Jill based on Resident Evil 1, a Chris based on Resident Evil 1, and then a Tyrant based on Resident Evil 1, breaking out of his glass chamber. Very awesome. And then a little chibi style 20th anniversary one they did that was kind of cute. Some of the Resident Evil 6 collector's items there. And then the little note that you find during the start of Resident Evil 7. Now, as I was mentioning, this is the American house. Uh, now, before we get into that, that hideous looking thing, that is the uh, PAL release of the USB finger, which is terrible. 
as opposed to the ironic, uh, much better uh, video game version, which actually looks like the item and the key. That just looks like something phallic. Uh, there was a Darksiders um, pre-order bonus pen there with blood cells in the pen. That's very cool. Uh, a few more little things. Uh, another pre-order bonus there with a bullet keychain. Now this one was very cool. It lights up and plays music. It's like a jukebox. Uh, so that's a very cool designed one. Uh, you lift the chimney off and you spin the little uh, wind up thing and it plays the theme song and the light of the shop comes out of the front of the store comes open. Of the house, sorry. Um, so that is a Resident Evil number plate. That's a cool one from Resident Evil 6. That is a sealed uh, GameCube Resident Evil 4 controller. Uh, obviously I've got the open one over there. The theme here is mainly just wallets, as you can see, Resident Evil themed wallets. Some old magazine cutouts here to the side, which I didn't show. Resident Evil 2, the remake collector's edition on the Xbox One. I'm uh, moving over to here. So the Resident Evil 2 figure that was obviously in that is the wonderful Leon that they did. He is fantastic, wonderfully detailed on a big size scale and a wonderful stand. That's another Hot Toys of Ada Wong. That is an Xbox 360 face plate. And these are older Japanese figures, which are quite rare now, but they're very cool as well. Moving on from that, this was the Jewel release from the Resident Evil 3 Collector's Edition remake. Uh, and then you have a Chris here from Resident Evil 5. He was the sealed one I had on the wall. And that is Sheva. And then the Tyrant and various little diorama figures there as well. You also have a very cool, uh, the original PS4s had face plates that were removable. So that is a cool one there that you can put on the original PS4. I don't have one, so I've just got it loose. Um, and that is a memory card holder that has the stars and signia on it. Very cool. Another hot toy of Leon. And there is, I forget her name because six was so forgettable. And Leon again, a smaller figure of his, which was very cool. That was the Africa keychain, uh, sorry, necklace that came with the Resident Evil 5 Collector's Edition. And now we're moving to sort of beverages and such. So there is a water bottle, uh, some fictitious energy drink, and then some Resident Evil cups there that are cool. The very OG Chris Redfield there and Jill Valentine. There were some candies. And there is also just an RPD. Uh, there's a badge in that box. Uh, down here was the Resident Evil 3 Collector's Edition for the remake, and the two Resident Evil 6s for the Xbox 360 and PS3, along with original um, magazine art cutouts. So that's very cool. A few posters up here as well. All right, just moving along here. These are some really cool ones. So this is the knife and the Wii gun out of its packaging, because I did have a bonus one. Uh, and this is sort of Resident Evil 4 themed. Um, so this is the... Um, Special edition uh, GameCube they did. Uh, this was an Italian one that I picked up. Uh, so that's beautiful. I'd love to have him on display, but I've just kept him in his box, to be honest. So uh, the Chainsaw Monsters and then Ada and Leon. Uh, an RPD badge, which is very cool. Uh, the Mansion Keys, which are fantastic. They came with the Resident Evil 2 remake. Um, and then, sorry, the Police uh, Office uh, Keys. And then moving on from that, before we reach the bottom row, uh, there is a very cool Nemesis. He's like a soft sort of plushy, but he's a bit weird, but that's a really nice one that I picked up probably only about a year and a half ago. Uh, these are some more of the Toy Biz ones. There's a very nice collection, uh, collector's uh, zombie dog there. Very cool. And another Berkham in the back and one of those little blind boxes. So that's cool as well. Obviously just keeping it all Resident Evil related. Uh, one of my favorites I have, I have a boxed Jill Valentine Palisades, a very large one. Uh, and then there's another lovely Ada Wong Hot Toys there, and a Leon from the Vendetta film. And then smaller Toy Viz ones there as well. And now we're moving down to the very bottom, nearly at the end of the, the showing you all these. We have the card game. This is the newest edition I got. So this is the deck building card game. Uh, that is like a monster's deck that I got. There's various other figures there as well. And then moving on from that, that is the Heroes deck that I got uh, before the other one. And then another William Birkin and a little Sherry down here, which is very cool. And then this is a wonderful, uh, crazy ASCII uh, controller for the PlayStation 1, uh, shaped like a pistol grip. It's a Resident Evil designed uh, gun that came for the original PlayStation in Japan. 
It did have tea that came with it that was meant to reminisce like the herbs, but uh, that didn't come with my pre-owned copy obviously, but that's all right. Uh, and this is a lovely boxed PAL copy of the Resident Evil 5 360 they did. There was no actual artwork on it. It was just a red console, but that's all right. The packaging was really nice. And I've had that since it came out and I, I enjoy it a lot. So I've kept some Resident Evil 5 figures in there. And if you were wondering what the USB uh, chainsaw was, it's actually that guy. So the blade comes off and it is a USB dongle to plug it into a computer. All right, and in the last little corner here, you can see my Sega reflection collection reflecting in the mirror here. Uh, we have Chris Redfield from Vendetta as well. Uh, we have a Resident Evil themed Raccoon City headset, which I can't say I've ever used. Um, and then a few more figures there. And then a craft figure that you snap together like model kits of the Cerebus. So that's really cool as well. And then the zombies there. And that's, well, yeah, that's essentially everything in the glass cabinets. Um, it's, it's a big collection. I mean, this is at least 20 years of collecting, uh, possibly more. I mean, the first Resident Evil came out in 1996. Uh, obviously there wasn't any merch back then, but just slowly, whenever I saw Resident Evil stuff, I'd grab it when I could. I remember these figures originally being in like Toy Kingdom, uh, which was a toy store back in the day here in Australia. So that's really cool. And it just sort of grew from that. I mean, magazines had amazing posters, which I always enjoyed collecting. Uh, even the uh, advertisements I would cut out, as you can sort of see. Um, and yeah, it just, it just grew from that. So there's a PC ad that was in a PC gamer. And just the artwork and the design they put into it just, just always blew me away. And I always loved it. So that's pretty much everything that I have at the moment as of November 2020. Um, you know, and I'll still be collecting for quite a few years yet, yet until Resident Evil is, is gone and done. Which I don't think it ever will. I mean, it's had a few bumps along the way, but these remakes have been really good, so I've been happy with that. And, uh, yeah. I guess that's probably where I'll leave it, guys. As promised, here is the trailer. As you can see, it has frames... And uh, yeah, it's really cool, 35mm. So that's a really cool thing to have in my collection. And uh, yeah, you can see that, that's really awesome. Ah yeah, that's the zombie that breaks on the glass and uh, makes you jump. So very cool, very, very cool indeed. So that's pretty much everything. What did you think? I mean, it was pretty cool. Um, there's a lot here that I've showed. Uh, hopefully you liked everything you saw. Uh, leave some comments below what you thought was cool if you want a little more in depth on certain uh, items that I have showed in this video. But if not, as always, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.